off we go to film the first potato truck being loaded. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Is this the first truck you load of the year too? Yeah, it's the first truck of the year too. Hello everybody, I'm Molly from Bell Farms and Shane's behind me with Bessie. So it is uh, my first time loading a potato truck for the year. And I also get to drive the red truck. So I know I talked a little bit about driving the Peterbilt, but things changed. And now I'm gonna be driving the red Sterling. So didn't know I was gonna be matching my truck today, but Morgan got it all shined up for me. So it's looking good. But yes, this is also a manual transmission. So we will see how I do. I even got cup holders in this truck. Very good. All right. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Morgan's coming over here to watch me. All right, guys, I'm going to put you on a stand. All right, so I don't, uh, I got used to driving the Peterbilt with the box shift pattern. So this one is a little bit different. So I'm going to make myself a little guide here. Stick it, stick it somewhere I can see it. I'll have to get in here and clean the inside of this truck too, but I'm not worried about it right now. All right, so we've got reverse. All right. That's my shift pattern. So it's a little bit more like a car, but uh, see if I can make it happen. Are you trying to start it? Yeah. Step on the clutch and push the button. Oh, I have to clutch this one? All right. <laughs> All right. So Shane's filling, uh, 79 Dave's old truck and I'm filling well there used to be a red truck on the farm sorry this is loud there used to be a red truck on the farm that Shane's mom used to drive and uh, that truck was peppy <laughs> like peppy Le Pew and one of these trucks is the coyote and one of these trucks is the roadrunner so I might bring Peppy back. This is not the same red truck that Shane's mom used to drive, but it seems pretty fitting and I'm kind of happy to be in the red truck. So I never did get a chance uh, to meet Shane's mom. Uh, she has passed away, but she was a key member of this farm also. Shane's mom, Camille, she used to drive trucks, loaders, equipment. She did, a, she did everything. So I'm kind of trying to fill her shoes. <laughs> we'll see how I do. Oh, never mind. I just found it. I was just calling to look for the sideboard switch. I pushed it, but it wasn't working before. So, all right. Yep, I'm all set. Thank you.
There's potatoes. Nice, clean, no scab. Beautiful. Come on, bud. It makes me so nervous. So you're better off without me. Probably. my window up so I can hear my truck a little bit better. I'm in first, so I don't want to go too slow that I stall it out, but I can't, I don't know the truck well enough and uh, my, my gauges don't work on this for lots of things, so. Always makes me so nervous loading my first few trucks of the season. And on top of that, now I get to learn how to drive this truck. Whew. And I have to try and film stuff, so. <sighs> but this is a good place to learn because I'm right here by the farm. I don't need to drive on the road. I mean, I can drive this truck on the road fine, but um, actually loading, the loading part is a little bit more what I'm worried about than the driving part on the road. So these guys are looking at the hydraulics of the harvester right now. So that's why we're stopped at the moment. we're going and that puts four rows in between two rows and if you guys have been around for a while you'll know that about our harvester it's a two row harvester and then we have a four row wind rower so that equals six rows uh, that we can harvest at one time so all of this part here has already been harvested and then everything from this way to the road is what is left to harvest in this field right here. And this is all white potatoes. Uh, we did already disc this and spread winter rye down. So we spread winter rye on all of the potato ground. Uh, that will help with uh, erosion. Uh, it's a good cover crop. So winter rye is what we primarily use, but there has been some comments about some other things that we might try this year or maybe next year. So this body is a little bit shorter than the white potato bodies. So this one will fill up just a little bit faster. So this is kind of the, the small truck and then we have the two yellow trucks and the blue truck that have the same size body. And then the Peterbilt has a larger 
size body. I think that one's 22 feet and the regular ones are 20 feet white bodies and I think this one is two feet shorter. So that would make it 18, if I'm right. I'm not sure, I'll put it in a correction in here if I'm wrong. Stall out. That's what I'm, that is exactly what I'm getting at. If I stall out, I'm gonna blow that. <laughs> Once you get the, you know, the RPMs, because it has plenty of power, because you're not pulling a big load. Right. It's a smaller load, so you have less restriction. Yeah, Okay, I didn't install, that's good. I didn't hit the boom. So I'm just waiting for Dave's uh, conveyor to unload the rest of the potatoes. And then I will head back to the farm and I'm gonna park this in the uh, future buildings closet we, we built. <laughs> okay, start over. Okay. All right, so. Things I need to figure out. What gear should I be in? I don't know what that is. What gear should I be in while I'm pulling out of the field loaded because I've never felt a loaded truck before like this. It's different than corn um, and yeah, so I messed up quite a bit pulling out of the field. <laughs> That's all right. Um, not too bad for the first time driving a loaded potato truck in uh, a standard, but uh, not not very pleased with myself, but at the same time, okay, whatever. 
All right, I'm gonna figure out where they want me to park this truck because we were parking them in the future building, but there's not a lot of space in there because Shane is working on the bin piler and there's a tractor in the other Quonset. So I'm assuming I probably should have backed this into the case span, but I'm gonna wait a minute and just figure that out. So, all right, I made it. Not very pretty. <laughs> All right, I am headed over to Lewiston now. I got some of the office stuff done I needed to get done. I still got a bunch of stuff I gotta do, but I am done in there for today. I'm gonna go get some corn stalks. <laughs> okay, so Shane brought over the pallet boxes that the girls emptied out. We, I don't even know how many pallet boxes of pumpkins we've done so far, but it's a lot. There's a lot of pumpkins. So I'm gonna head over there and I need to make up some more corn stalks and I'll see where they're at with picking pumpkins. I might have to move some boxes around for them. So I'm gonna head to Lewiston and I'll bring you guys back later when I'm over there. All right, guys, we are done with pumpkins for the night. I am home. We are, <laughs> Shane's over there feeding the ducks some corn. And I'm gonna get the eggs. Oh yeah, I forgot. I had a little baby chicken that was born. So uh, I was letting this little bantam sit on some eggs and she hatched one. There it is. <laughs> Anyways. So, <laughs> all right guys, uh, we had a good day today. Learned to load the, the red truck, which is gonna be my truck for the season. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. So one more thing I wanted to add. So anybody who's been around from, from day one, thank you. <laughs> and uh, this has just been really cool. A whole year of farming I've documented. Yeah, uh, there's still so much stuff I need to show you guys. So I honestly, I imagine it's going to take me a few years to actually like show you everything that we do. Uh, I've been trying to put out a couple videos a week. It's been so busy this last month, really month and a half that I haven't not been able to do that. So I think that I'm going to start to be able to put out about two videos a week again. But even with that, I still can't even cover even a quarter of the stuff that we do. So. I'm looking forward to a whole nother year of making videos for you guys. And thank you again for everybody who's been watching from the beginning. And thank you to everybody new who tunes in. <laughs>